All right, this is uh, exercise 2.1 from the book on page 11. It says, for each of the following settings, or um, identify the variables. Um, for, each vari for each variable, tell the type of variable and identify the observational unit and determine the sample size. So for 2.1 part A, it says, a paleontologist measured the width in millimeters of the last upper molar in 36 specimens of the extinct animal Acropithecus rigidus. So it says identify the variable. The variable in this case is the width of the upper molar. Uh, for each variable, tell the type of variable. This is going to be a continuous variable. Okay, continuous quantitative variable. Uh, it can be measured in. It's going to be measured in millimeters, and it can take on anything from 12 and a half millimeters to 12.3 millimeters, anything like that. The observational unit is each molar that is measured. Okay. Okay. And again, um, each specimen just has one molar measured. There's 36 specimens, and uh, each specimen only has one one molar. And the last part says um, how determine the sample size. Uh, we've got 36 in our samples. Um, 36 specimens. So our sample size. Is 36. Part B then reads, the birth weight, date of birth, and the mother's race were recorded for each of 65 babies. Okay, so here we actually have three variables. Okay, we have birth weight, birth weight of the baby. Okay, we've got date of birth of the baby. And we have the mother's race. Okay. Okay. Uh, for each of these variables, um, we're going to determine uh, what kind of variable they are. Birth weight is quantitative and it's continuous. Okay. Date of birth is quantitative, but it's discrete in this case. It can only take on certain birth dates, uh, whether it's November 3rd or November 5th. You're only going to take on one of those. The mother's race, in this case, is categorical. Okay. Uh, that was part two. Um, and the observational unit, in this case, is each baby. And in our sample, we had 65 babies, so our sample size is 65. And that is it for exercise 2-1.